Should a portable generator be grounded? Learn why should a portable generator be grounded and how to ground it. The benefits of grounding a portable generator are that it will protect you from electrocution, fire, and other hazards caused by faulty electronics. It will also help protect your generator from theft and prevent damage to the unit itself. Electrical conductivity is key for a properly grounded portable generator, as without it you can be at risk of electrocution or fires. It is important to have a ground wire installed in the generator. The size of the ground wire is dependent on the type of generator you are using. A smaller unit may require only an 8-foot extension cord, while larger units may need an additional 18-foot extension cord or even two wires for each leg of the generator. The wires should be connected to the ground terminal on the back of your unit and should be securely fastened. It is also important that you ground all other electrical devices around your home, including televisions, microwaves, electric stoves, refrigerators and freezers. What is grounding? Grounding is the process of providing an electrical path to earth, or through a conducting material. The purpose of grounding is to reduce the risk of electrocution and fire. The amount of protection you receive from grounding depends on your level of electrical conductivity, measured in ohms. Most portable generators are not grounded. This is due to the fact that many consumers purchase them for use during emergencies and therefore don't want to spend money on grounding wires or installing a ground rod. It is still important to ground your generator, however, as it will help protect you from electrocution and fire. The most common form of grounding is a ground rod, which provides an electrical path to earth through the use of a metal rod buried in the ground. It is important that the ground rod be connected to your electrical system by means of a grounding wire, which must be installed in accordance with local codes and standards. Some generators are equipped with grounding plates or mounting brackets on the generator housing, but these can also be used as a grounding point. If you have a generator with a grounding plate, make sure that the ground wire is connected to the mounting bracket or ground rod and not directly to the generator. What is a ground rod? A ground rod is a metal bar that has been installed in the ground. It acts as an electrical conductor between your generator and the earth. A ground rod is also useful if you are installing a new generator. What does it cost? The cost of installation will vary depending on the size and location of your generator, but it can be as little as $50 or more than $1,000. If you have to pay for labor, make sure you get a written estimate and be sure to ask for proof of insurance. Should I ground my generator? Most states require that generators be grounded, so if you do not ground your generator there is a chance that the state will issue a citation. The main reason for grounding your generator is to protect yourself from electrocution and fire. If you have a backup power system, it may include an electrical circuit that includes a generator. In this case, you will need to ground your generator in order for the backup system to work properly. There are many advantages of grounding your generator. Protects from electrocution and fire provides protection from theft prevents damage due to lightning eliminates possible injury from high voltage. If you do not ground your generator, it is possible that the electrical system in your home could become energized. This could result in a fire or electrocution. There are several methods of grounding a generator. Method 1, a metal rod with a ground lug. Method 2, a metal rod with a ground screw. Method 3, use two rods to make an electrical circuit between the generator and the earth. Make sure that you connect one end of each rod to your generator, then use a heavy wire, 12 gauge or larger, to connect the other ends of both rods to the earth. It is important that you use a metal rod with a ground lug or screw because if you use an aluminium rod without a ground lug, it could result in damage to your generator. Also, make sure that both rods are heavy enough so they will not bend when connected together. The ground rod should be at least 10 feet long, 
and you should connect the ground lug to a bolt or other metal object that is at least 6 inches in diameter. You can also use a metal plate or galvanized pipe if it is bolted to your foundation. This will allow for more stability when connected to your generator. Another option is to use a metal rod with a ground screw, but it will require more work and may not be as reliable. The advantage of using this method is that you can easily adjust the length of the grounding rod so that it reaches the Earth's surface. Should a portable generator be grounded? A portable generator should be grounded when used inside a building. This is to prevent the potential of an electrical shock if you are working on your vehicle and touch metal parts that are connected to the battery terminals. If there is no earth ground available, it may be possible for you to get shocked. A portable generator should be grounded, even if it is used inside a building and not on an open space like a driveway or patio. What are the benefits of grounding? The benefits of grounding include, 1, protection from electrical shock, 2, faster recovery time after a power outage, 3, improved fuel efficiency, 4, improved safety when using the generator, 5, lessen noise levels during operation. A power surge can cause you to get shocked. This is because electricity travels through the body at a high rate of speed and it takes very little time for that current to travel from your body to the generator. If you have a ground rod, then that will protect you from being shocked. What is a ground fault? A ground fault is when there is an electrical circuit that has been broken and electricity still flows through it. For example, if someone steps on your grounded ground rod, then electricity will still flow through the circuit. The only difference, is that there is no path for current to travel from your body to the generator. How do I make sure my generator has ground? There are several things you can do to ensure that your generator has ground. One thing you can do is to run a ground wire from the generator's battery terminals to your house. If you have an open area in your yard, then this may be sufficient. If not, then there are other options that you can use as well. If you do not have a ground rod, then it is best to get one before installing your generator. A ground rod can protect you from being shocked and will also help the electrical system in your house work properly. If you already have a grounded outlet installed in, tools needed to ground a portable generator. There are several tools that you will need to ground a portable generator. These include a ground rod. This is the easiest way to ensure that your generator has ground. If you do not have one, then it is best to get one before installing your generator. A ground rod can protect you from being shocked and will also help the electrical system in your house work properly. If you already have a grounded outlet installed in your home, then this may be sufficient to ground your generator. An extension cord. You will need an extension cord if you do not have enough room for the generator to be installed in your yard. If you do not have an extension cord, then it is best to get one before installing your generator. An extension cord can help you with running electrical wires from the generator's battery terminals to your house. A grounding lug? If you are installing a ground rod, then you will need a grounding lug to attach the ground rod to. A grounding lug is an attachment that is used on electrical outlets and power strips. It fits over the metal post of your outlet or power strip so that it can be grounded when in use. A screwdriver. You will need a screwdriver to attach the grounding lug to your outlet or power strip. A drill with bits. You will need a drill with bits if you are installing an extension cord. If you do not have one, then it is best to get one before installing your generator. A wrench. You will need a wrench if you are installing an extension cord. A few feet of 12 gauge power cable. You will need a few feet of 12 gauge power cable if you are installing an extension cord. A pair of channel lock pliers. 
you will need a pair of channel lock pliers if you are installing an extension cord.